Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Chris here and welcome to the last episode of our Madden 15 gameplay series. We're going to start things off right though with a Charles Woodson interception. We are the away team yet again paired up against the Eagles. And uh, yeah, like I was saying before, this is the last gameplay video of Madden 15 until Madden 16 comes out. Of course, we will definitely be playing a lot more Madden 16 Ultimate Team and putting more gameplay videos other than, what, five episodes up on the channel. So thank you guys so much, by the way. It's my first year ever playing Mutt, and I had a lot of fun with it as we give him the ball back off a Le'Veon Bell fumble on the screenplay, man. That one hurts a little bit. But like I was saying, it was my first year playing Mutt. I had a lot of fun. We got really good reviews on all of our Madden videos as well. So Madden 16, definitely, definitely going to be a fun year to upload to the channel. I can't wait as J.J. Watt gets a huge sack right there on second down. Um, <laughs> one thing, though, is I did not expect to spend as much money on this game as I did, as I should have been there, man. But Charles Wilson tries to strip the ball, but his guy ends up holding on to it. Fourth and three, he goes for it. He hits Odell Beckham, but Thomas Davis tackles him short. We get the ball back on another stop. So we're not going to give up on the run game just yet as Le'Veon Bell gets drilled there for a gain of six, but he is not running the ball well at all this game. And bang, another fumble. Two possessions, two fumbles. This one he's going to take back to the house to go up 7-0. I, I feel like he hit the whip on me right there. But we hit Le'Veon Bell up over the middle. We got, I think that's Michael Irvin over there in motion. We hit Le'Veon Bell again. Whoop! Hicks him with the juke move. He shrugs off a tackle. That's the Le'Veon Bell that we're used to seeing. Go ahead and point to the first down, baby. Let's go. First and 10. We are down seven now after we dug ourselves into a hole on back-to-back fumbles as Antonio Brown gets a nice catch for about seven yards there. Hand off to Bell again. Still not giving up on the run game. We get the first down. First and 10. We drop back. We throw. Bang! Calvin Johnson, gain of about 15 yards there on the first down. Make sure if you guys aren't yet, follow the live stream. I haven't streamed Madden in a while, I won't lie to you guys, but we still have a lot of fun over at Madden. We are, or just the uh, live stream in general, I'm sorry. Uh, we're over 920 followers now. We just got a $140 donation as we hit Antonio Brown on the out route there for a gain of five. Can we punch it into the end zone? That is the question. It's less than two minutes to go in the half. Le'Veon Bell gets swallowed up. We force him to call timeout. Third and three. Drop back with Elway again. We roll out. We try to make something happen. We throw across the field and it gets knocked down. We are going to go ahead, take our three points to go down seven to three. Our opponent says plenty of time left, though, to score again before halftime. He gives the ball over to Marshawn Lynch, though. He only gains about three yards on that run. Definitely a questionable play call as he hits Lynch again on the screen play. We swallow that up after a gain of four. Third and two. My opponent drops back with Otto Graham. Throws the ball. We should have been there, but he dumps it off to Marshawn Lynch for another first down. He calls timeout. One timeout remaining. 30 seconds left in the half. Otto Graham, I should have been there again, man. My user is not on point at all this game. As he drops back, Otto Graham gets hit by J.J. Watt. This dude is the bane of Otto Graham's existence this game. You'll see why later. He goes deep to end the half. Pat Pete is there and Charles Woodson. He's not able to come down with the catch. So we get ball at half, make a terrible read there. It almost gets picked off. Second and 10. We hand it off to Bell. Bell, nice run on the inside there. Gets about six yards. Six rushes for 16 yards. We're starting to get up there. We find Calvin Johnson, though, on third and four for the first down. Back to Le'Veon. We get good blocking there, but the block shed. Michael Irving just need to hold on to that block. Just another half a second, man. Second and two, back to Le'Veon. We do get the first down. Play action pass. We roll out without a gram. We dump it off to Franco Harris. We only get a yard. Uh, as I was saying, though, about the live stream, guys, I do want a sub button. So make sure if you're watching this video, if you like League of Legends, um, that's really like the main game I play when I get sacked right there. Man, 
uh, second and 19 coming up. But if you like League of Legends, uh, we play a lot of that. We were playing some RuneScape, uh, Mab and OG, uh, Hearthstone, pretty much all the games that you see on the channel. We had Le'Veon Bell wide open over the middle right there, man, and we just did not connect. But fourth and five, we go for it. Calvin Johnson gets us the first down. We are chewing up the entire clock here in the third quarter as we get sacked again, man. Drops back again. Sacked on back-to-back -back plays. That's the third or fourth time he's gotten to John Elway on this drive. So third and 26. We get rid of the ball. Terrible read. Gets knocked down. So we go. Mason Crosby is going to get us a 54-yard field goal to put us down by one point. So here we are. Fourth quarter. We got to get a stop here. He's going to try to chew the clock with Marshawn Lynch. We try to make adjustments here on defense. He finds Odell Beckham on the wide receiver screen, shoves off a tackle, and man, that was terrifying. So anyway, rolls out, autogram, gets wrecked. We cannot get one of our fumbles back, but here we go. This is where we have to separate the boys from men. We have to get a stop here. Troy Palomalu drops the pick. Third and six, we gotta stop him here if we're gonna do anything at all. And he throws it right to us. Charles Woodson gets us the user pick to put us back in this game. Two and a half minutes to go, man. We gotta make something happen as Le'Veon Bell gets stuffed in the backfield. The run game is just not working at all. John Elway drops back. We throw. We have Antonio Brown deep down the field to get us the first down to take us to the two minute warning. First and ten. Back to Le'Veon Bell. We get a decent run up the middle for about a gain of five. Less than two minutes still to go. We find Antonio Brown on the left side of the field for the first down. We make him burn his second time out. Back to Le'Veon Bell once again. We get stuffed in the backfield for a loss of four yards. But that is his final timeout that we had burnt there as we get a nine-yard run up the middle with Le'Veon Bell. So here we go, third and five. We got to convert here. We find... Rob Gronkowski in the end zone for the score. So we go for two to go up seven. We roll out to the left. We try to make something happen. We end up getting a hit. We don't get the two-point conversion. So our opponent has plenty of time left with no timeouts. Otto Graham gets him the first down on a 10-yard scramble. Here we are again. We got to make another stop on defense as Otto Graham rolls for another five yards. Autogram back to pass again. Hicks the guy on the right side of the field for first down. Less than 30 seconds to go in the game. Autogram. It gets knocked down, but Pat Pete gets called for a defense and pass interference. That's not what we needed whatsoever to happen. So Autogram takes off yet again. He gets like 18 yards on that run. We cannot make this guy fumble to save our lives. Patrick Peterson trying to make up for the pass interference call. Knocks the ball down, does not get the pick. So six seconds left. The guy takes the delay of game penalty to give himself a little more room to work with. He drops back, throws with Otto Graham, overthrows his wide receiver. Two seconds to go, and here we are. Can we stop him? J.J. Watt comes up big with the game-winning sack. My God. That was such a close game. 12-7 final score. We turned the ball over on two fumbles. His only score was the defensive touchdown off the John Elway fumble. We did not let him do anything on offense. We shut him down. And that's it, folks. Thank you guys for watching our Madden 15 gameplay series. I'll see you guys next season. Peace.